Hello, my name is Agne and I'm a Junior Communication Project Manager at Baltic Aviation Academy. Thank you for joining our webinar. If any questions will arise during the presentation, please feel free to leave the comments in the comment box below for the immediate reply. Otherwise, please email us at info at baltica.com. Today's topic concentrates on how to wisely choose your type rating training center. We will take a closer look at the different aspects that make pilot training qualitative during the type rating training course. We will discuss the key points that you should pay more attention to while choosing your training organization. And at the end, all of this information will give you a better understanding of the requirements that should seamlessly match the ones of your chosen type rating training course and the training organization. So let's start. The first thing you have to do before choosing your type rating training course is to make sure that the training organization, which will be the provider of your courses, is approved by your country's civil aviation administration and matches all their requirements. So the first thing that you need to verify is which regulations do your training center of choice works under. For example, if you're a JAA license holder, it is advisable to get your type rating training in JAA Training Center. If you're an FAA license holder, then better look for the FAA Certified Training Center to receive your type rating training. If you're an ICAO license holder, you must check with your country's Civil Aviation Administration whether they will accept the type rating training license from your training center that is not based in your country. So to sum all this up, if the training center is not certified under the same organization as your license, you need to get an additional approval from your CAA, which will assure that you will not have any troubles once you complete the type rating training course. The next thing you have to do before choosing your training center is to request the syllabus and check the program. The main points that you need to pay attention is whether the hours for theoretical and simulator training meets the standards. The theoretical part, which can also be called ground training, takes about 16 training days. That totals up to 124 academic hours, with each hour lasting 45 minutes. Simulator training should consist of 9 sessions in a full flight simulator. Each FFS session lasts four hours for a crew of two pilots. These nine FFS sessions are conducted during the period of minimum of 11 days. This simulator training time is divided between the two pilots, 16 hours in the pilot flying, 16 hours in the pilot not flying positions, and an additional four hour skill test. Another thing to note, Ask if your training center will be capable to provide you with base training and line training. These two training phases are extremely important once you finish the type rating training course. The objective of ground training is to introduce the various aircraft systems to the student. In this phase of training, student becomes familiar with various aircraft components, system logic, controls and indications, limitations, and normal as well as non-normal operations. Check whether the training center updates its theoretical material on a regular basis. The industry standards require the material to be updated no less than three or four times per year. This procedure assures that training program matches all the latest changes and meets the regulations and requirements. Ground training is the introductory course which lays out the foundation for the procedure course and full flight simulator sessions. Therefore, it needs to be conducted in a modern and comprehensive way. Check if your training center uses the computer-based training, classroom lectures, videos, flight deck posters, and whether it provides online studying possibilities. Training centers should willingly provide you with all the possible training and studying tools and support your personal studying needs.
Once you verify that Training Center meets all the requirements, do not forget to ask if teaching equipment is up to date, whether the Center implements latest technologies and what kind of study materials will be provided for you during the course. Normally, well-equipped Training Centers provide textbooks, mockups, tablets, computers, multimedia support, briefing and debriefing rooms, full flight simulators, wireless internet. An instructor is the one who teaches the material and also projects the image of a professional pilot. So make sure that instructors who will provide your training are well qualified. What are their required qualifications and do they meet them? How well do they speak English? What is their experience? Take into consideration your future instructor's flying hours and current working situation. The instructor must possess inside and extensive knowledge of the professional requirements and be an authoritative figure in front of the students. Full Flight Simulator is the key part of the whole type rating training course. Make sure that you check whether the simulator that will be used during your type rating training course is evaluated by your CAA. Make sure that the whole type rating training course will be conducted in the Full Flight Simulator and not in the Fixed Base Simulator. Fixed Base Simulators provide lower quality training, so don't settle for less. Make sure that the Full Flight Simulator that will be used has Level D certification. It is always better to train in the newer simulator. Training should focus on the practical situations from the airlines and be combined with the theoretical knowledge. Beware of the cheap deals. Maintenance of the full flight simulators costs a great deal of money, which means that if a training center maintains high quality infrastructure and provides adequate practical training, the cost cannot be significantly lower than the market average. When moving to another country, it is important to know what kind of accommodations and other support you will get from the training center. Make sure that all the possible additional services are included and focus on customer convenience. Type rating training month is quite intensive. Training Center should provide you with at least all of the following things. Transportation available 24-7. Accommodations that are located near the Training Center. Provided information about the medical care and medical centers available. Leisure activity proposals. Aviation Training Center is not only a place where you will get your type rating training, it is also your home abroad for a whole month. Now that you heard this entire information on the key aspects to focus on while choosing your type rating training center and course, we believe that you are ready to do the research and make the right decision. I hope you found our webinar useful and the information that we provided will help you make a better decision when choosing your next type rating training center. For any questions, please email us to info at Thank you and see you in the next videos.